Hey guys, welcome back to another EDH video. Today's video got me playing some Bravo King Eternal, keeping a planes, a hollowed fountain, an island, an island, a counterspell, a render silent, and a muse drake. We got Tyler playing some more Krinko mob boss, keeping four mountains, a bright stone ritual, and a warren instigator, and goblin trash master. I start us off on the play, I draw my card for turn, play a reliquary tower, getting that no max on my hand size early. Immediately pass to Tyler. Tyler draws his card for turn, does the stereotypical mono red thing and plays a mountain and immediately passes back to me. I point out how like wrinkled my Brago is for some reason and then draw my card for turn. I play an island. I then pass to Tyler. Tyler draws his card for turn, does another stereotypical thing and plays a, another mountain and plays a goblin thing. Uh, we're, in, we're an instigator. He then passes to me. I draw my curve turn. I play an island. Immediately pass to Tyler. Tyler plays a mountain. He then swings with Warren. He puts out a goblin trash master. He then casts a brightstone ritual. Taps two and tries to play Krinko. I immediately tap two and counterspell it. I then take my turn. I untap, I play planes. I then cast my commander, Brago King Eternal. I then pass to Tyler. Tyler draws his card for turn. Plays a mountain. He then swings the war instigator and the goblin trash master at me. I decided to, to, to no block here because I realized that the Warren would kill my guy and I don't want that to happen. Uh, Tyler casts a Relentless Assault, untapping all of his dudes and, and re-attacking. So I again, take all the damage like an absolute nub. I could have blocked the Goblin Trash Master there, I think. It was only a 3-3. Three, three. Um, I take my turn. I play a Hollowed Fountain, taking two life. I then tap to play a Muse Drake. I then swing a Brago. Drawing a card off the Muse Drake, and I also bounce a Muse Drake off that, so I draw another card. I then pass to Tyler. Tyler untaps all of his stuff. Draws his card for turn. Plays another mountain. Swings Warren. I put the Muse Drake in front of the Warren, and then put my Brago in front of the Goblin Trash Master. After combat, Tyler plays a Goblin Lackey. So you're doubling up on the Warren effect. Uh, on my turn, I cast a Pongify, getting, uh, killing Warren. Uh, I pass to Tyler. Tyler tries to cast his commander again. I rewind it. He then swings the Goblin Trash Master. I put Brago in front of it. Um, I then play a Smothering Tithe. So he has to pay two every time he draws a card unless, unless he doesn't want me to, unless he wants me to create a treasure. I don't know. I then pass Tyler Tup as an Anger for turn. He then full swings. I go ahead and I take everything, I believe. Actually, I think I messed up there. I shouldn't have blocked the goblin like I think Not really sure what happened there. Anyways, I play a revel arc and I then swing a brow and blink the revel arc so it leaves the battlefield and I get my muse drake back um, Tyler goes down to 34. I draw a card with music whenever that attacks. He got past her and he swings everything but the goblin trash master and I block the anger and the 3-3 he then plays a Conspicuous Snoop. I play a Deputy of Detention. Stealing the Conspicuous Snoop and putting it under my Deputy of Detention. I am cast a Felidar uh, Guardian. It enters the battlefield. I am going to flicker my Muse Drake. So I'm going to draw another card and play a Planes Return. I then swing Brago. Swing the Revel Arc. That takes a six damage. 
I blink all my stuff. I blink the Felidar Guardian. It's going to blink the Muse Drake whenever it enters the battlefield. So I draw two cards. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I'm assuming that's how it works because they both enter. And, you know, I think it's a legal target. If not, correct me down in the, the comments. Just, I think we both agree that it was a, a, legal, a legal thing. Uh, I pass Tyler. Tyler swings his anger in the 3-3 frog. I throw my Muse Drake in front of the anger and I throw a Felidar Guardian in front of the frog. Uh, or is it a beast? I'm not sure. Uh, he passes me. I play a Great Whale. I untap seven lands. I then play a Restoration Angel. It's going to bounce the Muse Drake. So I get to draw another card. I then swing Brago. Bounce all my stuff. Untap seven lands. I float a bunch of mana here. I bounce the Muse Drake. I, I, I target the, the Muse Drake with my Felidor Guardian trigger. And the Restoration Angel trigger. I don't know if that's legal again. If it isn't, then uh, I don't know if I even win. But it's fine. Because I have a lot of stuff here anyways. That would be able to just attack and win. Because they're all, most of them have flying. I then cast a Meteor Golem. Uh, hitting Krinko. He sacrifices it to the Goblin Trash Master. And he blows up my Meteor Golem. He was going to do my Soaring. But he was like, no, I don't want the Meteor Golem on the battlefield. Um, then play a Displacer Kitten and swing Brago and swing all my flyers. He has no blocks. Taking him down to 16. I blink all my stuff again. Doing the typical, typical Brago thing. Drawing a bunch of cards, uh, floating a bunch of mana. I then cast a Prosperous Pirates. And it is about to feel like I create two treasure tokens. I then cast a Mold Drifter. And it is about to feel like I draw two cards. I then tap my Soul Ring. He sacrifices the Goblin Trash Master to blow up my Soul Ring. I then play his Swift Foot Boots. Pass the turn to Tyler. He untaps, he plays a Mountain. He uh, taps two. He just immediately starts scooping. He's like, "Yeah, this is this is this isn't it. I think I'm done here." So he has a good game. Brago versus versus Krinko. Krinko doesn't have a lot of flyers. Obviously, it's goblins. So I think the only one he might have is like a hell kite or something like that. But other than that, yeah, good game, Tyler. Uh, Brago is just superior when it comes to to four man commanders. Uh, and flying and all that stuff. So yeah, GG. Uh, you guys want to see other videos? There's a playlist right there. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if we messed up because I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm not sure, but I think Felidar Guardian can target the Muse Drake whenever it enters battlefield because they enter the same time and they're both, you know, it's a legal target. Anyways, if it's not, correct me because I feel like I messed up, but I don't actually know and I don't feel like looking it up. But yeah, peace.